Hi, my name is Steve, and my daughter Alyssa died 21 years ago from complications of a genetic disorder called allergeal syndrome. And I have been on a very long journey uh, since she's passed. Lots of good things, challenging things too. And I just want to share a little bit about the, my journey. And a lot of it started out as uh, men in grief because obviously I'm a guy and it took me longer to start my journey. Uh, very different uh, being that, you know, you're not supposed to be so sensitive and soft, but really, you know, uh, this process humbles you quite a bit. And where I've gone on my journey is now to fitness and grief. Uh, fitness uh, has always been a passion of mine since I was a kid, never knowing that that would be therapy for me. Um, and I am in the process of sharing that with many people about uh, dealing with depression, dealing with overall grief symptoms, and using exercise to help heal the mind and the body. And it, they, they work one and one together. Um, a lot of your depression and uh, symptom of grief medications that doctors prescribe uh, derived from the dopamine, the GABA, the, uh, the different things the body creates on its own neurologically to help us feel better and help us heal. And uh, studies are showing that the long-term effects of us using exercise as a vehicle for mind and body are much more successful than the drugs. Um, the drugs have a better, have a good short term, but as you go long term, obviously helping yourself. There's so many other great effects from exercise and the blood flow and the oxygen and the things that just make you feel healthy and happy. So um, fitness and grief, it's, it's a winning combination. It's something that uh, I believe in and I love to share. So come see me at the Compassionate Friends Conference and We'll go from there.